everyone, welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, I'm making this video because I myself was looking up how the hell to take off the stock wing, spoiler, whatever the hell you want to call it. This little lip that they got on the back of the trunk, I had no idea how to do it. So I thought I might as well go ahead and make a video for you guys showing y'all how to remove the spoiler. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and pop the trunk and get straight into this video. Something very small, but I love so much about this car. <laughs> Opening the trunk with that button right there. See, the 5th gen Camaros don't have that. The 6th gens, they do, but the 5th gen Camaros, they don't have that. So I never had that luxury. So coming straight off the bat, first thing you're going to want to do is pull these little tabs out of this cover right here and then pull these bump stops these bump stops off as well and then we work this little cover around the actual trunk latch and then you have this hole right here and this hole right here they're all 10 millimeter bolts um and there should be some adhesive on there as well from forward hopefully it comes off easily as you guys may or may not be able to tell your boy finally got reaper branded you feel me you know we got the ji signature up top we got the misfit mafia only the family you feel me and then we got the big ji squad mook if you guys are rocking with these decals let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys want to see them on the website i can definitely make that happen for y'all but with that being said let's go ahead and start off by removing these little push pins getting straight into this video man got my boy versatile speed snacking on the snickers because you know you ain't yourself when you're hungry you know what i'm saying that we not sponsored though so type can't uh display it like that you know what i mean but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it all right y'all once y'all get all of these little plastic pins out these bump stops i can't even lie they're pretty difficult to get out you're gonna have to pull it out and then kind of like twist it to work your way out be safe with this joint be careful you do not want to rush trying to get that off because if you end up breaking it your trunk is not gonna close that's the emergency release latch so be safe with that um and then like I say, the cover just comes right off. So now you have, pull this little rubber grommet off. So you got a 10 mil right there. You got two 10 mils right here. And then you pull this cover off right here. And you got another 10 mil right there. Now, when you removing them bolts, bro, be careful to not drop them inside the trunk. Because then you're going to get that ting, 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 rattle can noise. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. There it is. Five minutes later. All right, y'all. So, I ain't gonna cap. You know what I mean? One of the goddamn bolts then fell in the trunk. But, ain't no... That ding was off of this right here, okay? So, it's okay. Now that you got all the 10 millimeter bolts off, you might be lucky. You know what I'm saying? If your car been sitting in the sun all day, it might then have baked up the adhesive enough to where you could just pull this joint off. So, with that being said, I'm gonna get out a try. Damn, money man. That's why they scared to go outside with you. Huh? They know you gonna put some bands on their heads. Stop it. This is not real money. Stop it, y'all. What it say on the back of the car? Back to the what? Money. And majority of the adhesive stayed on the spoiler. That's what we want, man. Yo, what is good, y'all? So, I am currently editing the video right now. And I realized that... I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I made, like, three videos um, when this video was shot. So, I completely forgot to tell you guys um, what you can do to get 
that adhesive off of your car. Um, so basically there's a couple ways that you can do it. Now, two of these, well, one of these ways could definitely be harmful to your paint. So I just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Wanna let you guys know ahead of a time, be careful, bro. Because if you use a goo gun and it goes directly up against your paint, you can run into two things. One, it could eventually, you know, pull up your paint and you'll be left with bare metal. Or two, you dig know what I'm saying? It'll just mess up your paint, like blemish it, like, and have it looking bad. You know what I'm saying? It then the other way that you can get it off is by using like a detail wheel. It's basically like a little, like a little rubber um, wheel that you would put on like an impact gun. Um, you know what I'm saying? And you can just take it and hit it up against the adhesive and it'll literally just burn it off, like melt it off as you, you know what I'm saying, go through. It'll kind of be like buffing out a scratch, if you will. Super easy. It shouldn't take too long. And that's actually the method that I'm going to go with. Um, I got majority of the adhesive taken off of the car. Again, shout out to my brother, Back to the Money Man. Really appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? He was standing there with me, you know, bare, uh, bare nub. You know what I'm talking about? We was really trying to get as much adhesive off of the trunk as possible because with the GT500 spoiler, there is like arches in the middle of the spoiler. And when they're, you know what I'm saying? When you're looking in between the gap between the arch of the spoiler and the trunk, you can see some of the adhesive. Um, you know what I'm saying? The stock spoiler was just a flat um, strip that goes through the bumper. So that adhesive, you know what I'm saying, is covered by that spoiler. So with that being said, you can't see it. So we were trying to get as much adhesive off as possible. Um, so yeah, man, huge shout out to you, bro, for for. Real. But like I was saying, there's three ways that you can do it. Either A, you can use rubbing alcohol, which I'm not going to lie, it's going to take a whole bunch of elbow grease and a whole lot of time to get them that joint off. Or B, you can use Goo Gun, but like I said, be careful applying that to your paint because I'm not going to lie to y'all, it can definitely damage the paint um, in the long run and you're going to be upset because, especially on a black car, like bro, you can see everything on black, it's ridiculous. And then C, like I was telling y'all, the little detail rubber wheel, you just grab the impact and, you know what I'm saying, go up against it and burn the adhesive off. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So, with that being said, after you do all that, I'm black, brother, can you see me? Yeah, my bad, my bad. So, after you do all that, you know what I'm saying, you want to get some glue gun or some adhesive remover, try to clean up the surface. And then you can install whatever spoiler you want to install or if you're going for the wingless look and you know what i'm saying just clean it up to your preference cover the holes up and you'll be straight now with that being said this is actually going to wrap it up for this video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you smash that subscribe button turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below make sure you tap in with my brother back to the money tap in with my brother rest speed behind the camera and uh yeah man we're gonna see y'all in the next one because i got a treat for y'all niggas